Okay, so this is going to be a screencast all about how to start using Class Dojo effectively so that it is a tool that is communication for behavior management and um, all around just your go to for your students. So, first things first. Um, let me show you, this is called just your dashboard. Um, you'll have your picture here. Um, then we have the Carry Downey Elementary School and we can see that there are 23 teachers that are, that are linked up with our school. Over here you have your account settings. This is where you can change your um, picture. Other things you can do, um, give yourself your information to save it. You want to, if you want to go to advanced, then you can click on something called experimental features where you can um, add in some really great options like full screen mode, class goal, class banner. If you don't want that, you just simply turn it off. If you want it, turn it back on. I don't want desktop notifications all day long. So, yeah, that would be annoying to me. Um, for comments. You can either allow or not allow your families to respond to pictures that you might post. And the same goes for School Story. We haven't started using School Story at Carrie Downey. Um, don't know if we will. I kind of feel a little odd taking over for something like that. I kind of feel like that might be uh, admin's job. So um, it's defaulted to on at this point messaging you can select quiet hours uh, so I have mine set for 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. on the weekends you can turn it off that means the parents can still look but they can't bug you they, they get an automatic um, response saying Miss McLean is not available until uh, 7 1 a.m. or whatever time you choose it's up to you uh, language and region you can select your language and region obviously now we go into classes so right now this is my active class Miss McLean's class I also have archived classes from years before now it's really important that if you had a class from uh, previous years so this is my class from last year 22 students you need to archive the class otherwise the parents think that your student from last year is still actively in your classroom that means any of the kids that are on here so like Zakor and Beyonce and Brianna their parents would start getting messages saying like oh Miss McLean gave Brianna a point and that's not that's not good so what you need to do is go to this gear up here and you need to archive the class this is my active class, but I'm going to set up a brand new class so that you can understand what to do. So when you add a class, first thing you want to do is you want to select just a fun little image and give it a class name. Select your grade and click add class. Now, what's going to happen is you're going to start adding students and here's what's really great about the new features with class dojo if students were part of class dojo in the past you have very little work to do if they weren't part of class dojo you have a little bit more work to do but really it's quite simple so um what i will do is i'm going to add some students that i know are in class dojo right now so I can see that Zakor popped right up while somebody like Bobby Brown did not pop up and I had to just simply type their full name. So I'll show you again. If they're part of Carrie Downey's school directory and I simply start typing their first name so you can see Beyonce is available, Brandon Keen, Brianna. All I have to do is click on it, and if they're not available, I have to type in their full name. 
Class Dojo defaults with these cute little uh, monster avatars. And when you're all done adding in students, you click Done Adding Students. You can automatically get some invitations. And so what you would do is you would click get invites. And these are going to be paper based copies that you would download. And if you know that you have Spanish speakers, you can switch it over to getting it translated into Spanish. That's Latin American or from Spain. I don't think we have any that are from Spain. We do have it uh, that it can translate into Turkish as well. So I'm done with the invitations. And now I'm going to customize my skills. They already give you some basic skills to work with, and they're really good ones. Or you can import them from a previous class. So um, if I wanted to do that, then I have it's going to be similar to what I've done in the past, which makes me feel comfortable and good. So I might pull from last year's and you can see I have all of these old ones already now popped up. I don't have to worry about doing it. Now I have less editing to do. There are a few different point scales. You can, when you want to click edit, change the picture by touching it, type in what you want it to be. So for me, um, to bribe my students to go to PTA events and things like that, I make it worth five dojo points. You can change it to one, two, one, zero through five. I like it to be five because then it's great. Um, they have a zero point grading scale now too, which is great because all it does is it tracks how many times somebody does it. The parents get the information, but um, but it doesn't harm the student nor does it give them anything, but it's a really great way to see if a student is uh, abusing bathroom privileges or um, getting up out of their seat and you just need like some sort of data collected like with IEPs for behavior um, issues. For the needs work categories, this is uh, highlighted in red. And again, it goes from zero with warnings up to five also. These are totally up to you what you want them to be like. And when you're all done setting up your course, you click finish. Now down here at the bottom, you have all of those things that you selected that you want to have available for attendance. If Bobby's absent, he becomes red. If I touch him again and he shows up late, he gets yellow. And if he's uh, here, he's automatically green. Now, what's nice about if Bobby's absent and I click save attendance and I decide to give the whole class five points for something, you can see nothing with Bobby is there. He wasn't there. He missed out. If Bobby shows up later in the day, though, I'm going to switch it over and I'm going to give five more points and now um, he gets the five, but everybody else is up to ten. For selecting multiple students, maybe it's just Bobby and Leo DiCaprio that are doing a good job. And so they get two points. To randomize, this is nice if you don't have popsicle sticks or if you just want to get your kids all excited. You randomly can pick a student. It will go through all the students um, without double dipping like I sometimes do. You have a timer feature that is a stopwatch or a countdown. I use it all the time. Big ideas are movies prepared by Classroom Dojo. Um, series 1 is all about growth mindset, and it's also called The Power of Yet. And then there is a Series 2 that doesn't seem to be showing up right now, um, but Series 2 is is out there, just not ready. Class code is a new thing that if you have an iPad available in your classroom, your students will be able to do uh, create a portfolio that they can send to their parents. This is a bit more advanced, so I'll do a different screencast for that one. Banner is fun. You can type, have a great first day of school, and it will post to the top of your screen and you can share it to your class story. 
If you have a goal and you say you want your class today to earn at least 100 points. Now, you can see that we haven't earned anything, but if I were to give the whole class one point, you can see that now we have a few more left. Full screen just makes your screen bigger, and you can click on that. Here's something that's interesting. Take a look up here. You have this, this people icon. These are the people who are connected already with Class Dojo. That means they're already getting your information. You can send them messages. It's awesome. These are the people that you still need to invite. This is your notification screen. Um, it'll let you know if a parent has messaged you or um, if somebody has liked something. Messaging is wonderful. If I need to speak with Brianna's family one-on-one, -on -one, then I would type to them. So these are some old messages between myself and Brianna's family. Um, and you can see that there's a two-way communication, what's really great. I can tell when the parent has read it because there's a check mark. Sometimes there's a check mark and they don't respond if it's a little bit negative. Uh, I can also message the entire class all at the same time. Finally, class stories are great. You can add pictures and captions. Um, and the parents have a really good time looking at information about what's going on. So I'll show you what's going on currently in my class. What you can see is I've been sending out messages, sort of like Twitter. Um, it's nice for the parents that aren't very active on social media. They've really enjoyed it. Um, you can see that a parents have been viewing it, commenting, liking it. So um, Caleb's mom, aw, thanks for taking care of my boy when he was sick. Really nice. It definitely brings together the whole class as a community. And um, again, they can translate it into their preferred language. So I know this was fast and furious. And if you want some information also on how to change the avatars on your Class Dojo characters, I'd be more than happy to share that with a different screencast. Just let me know if you want me to make that. But again, this is um, just a very fast and furious screencast of Classroom Dojo and just some of the features. And if you ever need any help working with it, um, I'm more than happy to help you out. And that should be it for setup. Thanks. Bye.